Hi right, folks, a little bit different for you today. We're doing our roast dinner on a Sunday. We're gonna be doing it in the Ninja pressure cooker, but you can just as well do this in the new Kasori pressure cooker. And uh, what a lovely joint, baby. Yeah, rolled rib, that is rolled rib of beef. Right, so really, this is just our roast. Uh, we'll show you what we've got involved. There's no ingredients as such. We're just bringing you along for the ride for our Sunday dinner. And what was that you were gonna say? I'm trying something different today. I've not done it this way in the pressure cooker, so this is my first time. See how it turns out. So over here, she's just put on our mixture of frozen veg. We've got green beans, cabbage. Is there cabbage in there? Yeah, like down the bottom. Oh yeah, carrots, cauliflower, broccoli. All just the frozen stuff, Sharon, yeah? Yeah, in fact, we'll turn it off now. Okay, and that means that we're gonna move on to our next bit is... I've boiled me kettle. And what's that you got in there? Oxo this is going to be our water for the pressure cooker and also going to be our stock. Right, so this isn't our gravy we're making now? Yeah, Oh. it's going to be the stock as well. So okay. all the meat juices are going to fall into this. Okay, lovely. So as you can see, folks, we're using the uh, Ninja 15 in one. We're taking out the carry basket. This and basket, that one. How much stock have you got in there? About 400 mils I've got in there. Right, okay, so that, in that goes. That, as I say, is just one Oxo cube. Nothing else at the moment. No, I've seasoned my potatoes. They're not parboiled or nothing. They've just got a bit of oil on and salt and pepper. Right. And then I'm going to put them with the beef. Right, so there's our beef there. What oh, sort of a, uh, beef is that, Sharon? As I said in the beginning, it's a rolled rib. A rolled rib. Well, I like to repeat myself because sometimes it sinks in when you repeat yourself. So is that from the butchers? Of course it is. Right, East got, Coast Meats. East Coast Meats, we got this. And uh, it looks a lovely piece of meat. And as you can see, it's got the string around it holding it in place. We're going to leave that on, shall we? Yeah, yeah. So we're just going to put that into our little cradle there. And I'm literally going to put the potatoes around it. So in they go. And then we're going to get the probe out. Okay. Now the probe on this, as you probably know, lives in that little Oops. container on the side there and you just take it out of there and then you've got this little plug which sits in there which you take out and you probe she's going to put in the side of the meat going into the center as opposed to sticking it in the yeah. top because that could when you shut the lid down it could touch the element so put it in the sideways going into the middle so there we go it goes in there like that okay and then just plug your probe in so temperatures are all going to be done by... Always put that back in there. You know where it is. You don't want to lose that. Can't show. lose that. Your ninja's no good. So the time will be controlled by the probe and also the size of the meat for the yeah. internal cooking so temperature. So if you stick it on to... Right, hold on. So turn it on. Switch it on. Select steam roast, so right. that's the middle With one. With this one, you've got to remember to put this in the closed position, which is up there. You're on the Kasori one, it does it automatically, yeah. doesn't it? So you yeah. haven't got to worry about that. No. But because this is the Ninja, you have to make sure that the vent is in the correct position. So we're going down here. We're going to go to the middle, if I remember right. Combi steam is that one. Right, so that goes into the middle. So that's combi steam. Combi steam, yeah. Yeah. Select steam roast. Right, so we turn the dial. So steam roast. Yep. What's this here? Select preset. It's on chicken. You got a chip. Oh, hold on. Yeah, yeah. Get so beef. beef. You got okay. rare. Keep going. Rare. Like, then maybe like. you got to change it for that way. Yeah, medium rare. Medium rare. Medium. Well. You want well done. Don't I don't you? like no blood on my. No, plate. Sharon don't like that. So we're gonna have to go right over yep. to the grill, which puts it on number nine. That's working off of the presets, folks. Then press and then just start. press start. Because we've used boiling water, the pressure build up will be quicker. Right. Okay. So let's just press start. That's gonna go for its cycle. The temperature will come up and it will only turn itself off once it's up to temperature in the center of that probe, depending on what the probe says. See, it's already at two, look, one and a half. Usually it's at the very beginning because right. the water's hot already. Right, you happy with that? No, you can just sit down and relax for a little bit. I'm all for that, yeah? Yeah, I know you are, baby. See you in a minute, folks. Bye. Right, it's just finished, Sharon. It yep. reached the 65 degrees. Come up with the word end. We're gonna slide that over there and lift it up and let's have a little look inside. Wow, look at that. 
Oh, the potatoes are done as well. Cool, they are being roasted, aren't they? Look at that. I was hoping they wouldn't be because I haven't put my Yorkshire's on, so let me just quickly shut that. Right. I have had this heating up. Got hot oil. We've done our Yorkshire pudding mix the way that Sharon normally does it, folks. And uh, we're just pouring a little bit into each. That is equal amounts of flour, plain flour. Egg. Egg and milk. And a pinch it? of salt. And a pinch of salt. So you're just going to whack them on quickly for 205 degrees. We're going to put it on for 10 minutes, but they'll be done before that, won't they? Yeah. Right, I suppose better get the beef out, let it rest. Yes. And then I can carve it, baby. I can see what the gravy's like at the bottom of the stock. Yeah. And we'll also use the remaining cooking liquor, folks, of the veg, which has been on now. So we won't waste that. That will go to make the gravy as well. So don't forget to pull the probe out of the controller first. Sharon's got her silicone gloves on. There we go, just leave that there for a minute. And as you can probably see in there, there's not much of it left, shall no. I But, that's but it's be, very condensed, isn't it? That's going to be a good gravy. So there's the beef. I'm going to find my jug. Wow, that looks amazing, folks. I thought, in actual fact, because we've never done this before, this way, mm. that we would have to um, put the Yorkshire puddings in, not Yorkshire puddings, put the potatoes in for longer on air fry. They're well crispy. But they are crispy, aren't they? Yeah. Do you want to just pull that probe out, Sha? Just get your probe out of there. So again, we don't know. We, it's all done on the probe. The length of time and everything's done on the probe, folks. So you're just topping up with a little bit more gravy granules. Yeah, if you can get that meat out. I want to see the, have the rest of the potato. Give us the tongs and I'll get the meat out with the tongs. So we just put that down to rest on there. all right. And let's just have a little look at these roast potatoes, folks, look. They are all well cooked in there, as you can see. Look, there's only me, Sharon, and um, baby, baby Frank today. So cooking liquor, again, out of there. Straight into the jug. That should do. And that will make an absolute lovely gravy. Look. That is really tender, folks. Look how easy that's cut in there, look. Superb. So that's on the steam roast setting, Sharon. Mm -hmm. And that meat is so tender and juicy as well. It's retained all its juiciness where it hasn't dried out at all. Look at that, look. And that's the beauty of steam roasting. And as you can see, just in the middle, just slightly a little bit pink, which is absolutely lovely, but there's no running blood out there. Look at that, look. You can't beat it. Right, that should do us. Now, I can't wait to eat this, folks. So just lay them slices on, look at that, look. Little baby Frank, you'll love that when it's all cut up for him. This is baby Martin. That's mine, yeah, look at that. We like a lot of beef on our Sunday dinner. And also the, the fat in the middle is lovely as well, Sharon. Oh, I love the fat. Get it on there, baby. Oops. Chef Perks there, look at that, look, I'm having that. I want that bit there. Do you want some more cut up? No. 
Oh my god. That is really good. Right. Just gonna check the Yorkshire puddings, folks. They've been on for eight minutes so far, and as you can see, they're perfect. I'll just put them in for two minutes more, just oh. that centre. Okay. So the gravy has thickened up a treat now, made with the concentrated meat juices. Right, okay folks, let's have a look at them Yorkshire's. There we go, how about that? One for baby Frank, one for me, and one for Sharon. And Charlotte, we just asked Charlotte if she wanted a bit she of left. She didn't want it earlier, bit, but she does now. Yeah, have. a bit left over, so Charlotte can have that. And also, let's pour some of this gravy on. Let's get baby Frank's on there first. He can have it all mixed in then, can't he? There you go. Drop for Charlotte. That's a bit of a gravy, Sharon. That'll do. That enough for you? Mm -hmm. And me, I'm going to take my Yorkshire pudding off, folks, because I like to lash it on. <laughs> I do like plenty of thick gravy going all the way through my dinner. Look at that. Oh, that's lovely. Right, let's just take a closer look at these now. So there you go, folks. That literally didn't take hardly any time whatsoever in that uh, pressure cooker on, on the steam roast setting. And that beef is so tender. And I've learned something new with the potatoes today as well. Go on in. Oh, right. Chef's perks. Look at that, look. Mmm. There comes a little boy for dinner. He's waiting for his dinner, baby, Frank. Yeah. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this little fly on the wall one, folks. Don't forget, check out our videos. Loads of different food uh, videos on there and also our Sunday vlogs where you see what we get up to during the week. We're gonna go, we don't want this to get cold. We'll see you in the next video and until then, bye for bye. now. Bye. Come on, baby. Oh yeah.